Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is December 11th, 2022. We're on the southwest side of Bluffton today at Kay Havnanian's Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks community of 55 and over, resort style living community. So this video is for you, the 55 and over buyer, who's looking for relocation here in the Bluffton area. This community is by a top 10 national home builder, Kay Havnanian. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I don't work for Kay Havnanian. I don't work for Four Seasons. I work for you, the buyer. More about that as we go along. Today we're going to go back into the community. We're going to see the new model homes, talk about the new construction and the homes under construction that they have, ready to move in soon, and the tremendous incentives that they're offering that make it for some of you, I think, will be an offer you can't refuse. But before we go in to the neighborhood, we're going to go out and about and see what's nearby this 55 and over community here on Route 170 in the New Riverside area of Bluffton. Right across the street from Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks is this new shopping plaza called May River Crossing. The centerpiece is the Publix Food and Pharmacy. We get spoiled here in Bluffton. We have a lot of convenience of all kinds, but we won't linger here and go in and see their deli and organic vegetable section. We'll move on. Well, the Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks is just a few hundred yards north on Route 170 of the New Riverside Circle. And this part of Bluffton, in southwest Bluffton, is called the New Riverside area in Bluffton. If we turn right here, we would follow the May River Road to Savannah, and we'd be in Savannah in about 25 minutes. If we turn left here, we head towards Old Town Bluffton, and we'll be there in about six or seven minutes. Let's go there now. Just a few minutes drive from Four Seasons is Old Town Bluffton. And here on the promenade, there are so many restaurants and shops. And they're so popular with tourists and locals as well. Does anyone out there like barbecue? Well, you have quite a few choices here in Bluffton and even right here in Old Town. Well, Calhoun Street stretches from the promenade south to the May River and here at the end of Calhoun Street is the Church of the Cross. It's on the National Registry of Historic Places because it's one of the few buildings that wasn't burned by the North in June 6th of 1863. So in 1863, the Union Army that was stationed over on Hilton Head Island as part of President Lincoln's Anaconda Plan to strangle the South, they were tired of these Confederates coming over from Bluffton and raiding the island. So they decided in June of 1863 to come on up the May River. They landed at Brighton Beach and they landed right here at what is today the Calhoun Street Dock. And they went on in and burned the town of Bluffton to the ground. And there were very few buildings that remained after that. One of them was the Church of the Cross that you just saw because they were afraid that the embers from that burning church might blow on over to their ships out here in the May River and burn their ships. And if you are wondering, by the way, what Bluffton means, it's the bluff above the May River. The bluff that you're looking at now. And just a few miles away at Buckwalter Place is a Kroger grocery store. 
There's a lot of things here that we're not going to go into in this video, but there's many restaurants here. There's a culinary institute. There are retail stores. And there's a Publix here at the Buckwalter Place. And just a couple of miles away, there's another Kroger and another Publix. As I said, we enjoy great convenience in this area. And there's just so much that we could talk about, but so little time. And turning a page towards medical services in the area, here at Buckwalter Place is this St. Joseph Candler's Bluffton campus, which specializes in cancer radiation therapy. It's a beautiful building, and the services that they provide here are absolutely first class. It has a very high and excellent reputation in the community. And sometimes things happen that we don't want, but it's great to have convenient medical services nearby. In this emergency room, a 24-hour freestanding emergency room, the Tidewatch Emergency Department of Hilton Head Healthcare is just five and a half miles north of the New Riverside Circle. It's owned and operated by the same people that own and operate the Hilton Head Hospital and the Coastal Carolina Hospital. And the Buford Memorial, Okatee Medical Pavilion, is next to Sun City, about five and a half miles north of the New Riverside Circle. It's the home of the Buford Memorial New River Cancer Center. It's affiliated with the Medical University of South Carolina. Well, there are many medical services here in Bluffton, South Carolina. We're just touching the surface in this brief review of conveniences in the Bluffton area, but there are more medical services, more doctors moving into the area all of the time. And of course, Four Seasons at Carolina Oaks is a 24-hour manned and gated community. And again, I'm a fiduciary, ladies and gentlemen. I don't represent this community or the builder. I'm a buyer's agent. I represent you, the buyer. And one of the good things about that is that it just doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent helping you to compare communities, compare builders, to look for things that are in your best interest. And I have 47 years of local Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. I'm also a former licensed South Carolina home builder. And perhaps the best thing about having a buyer's agent is that it just doesn't cost you anything more than the real estate itself that you buy. And that's because the developer actually pays my commission it's in the price of every home, and these are sold as home lot packages, by the way. And your price will not be higher when you have a buyer's agent, and nor will it be lower. So your price is the same whether you bring me on board as your agent to help you in any way possible or not. It's kind of a no-brainer, really. But I do help my buyers compare communities and in many ways that sometimes we just can't see when we start into our relationship. This is the first phase of Four Seasons, now complete. And they have three categories of homes here. The smallest category, meaning small, medium, and large. The smallest are the Haven homes, also the most economical. The medium ones are called the Preserve Collection. And then the largest ones are the retreat homes, the retreat models. Now each of these categories of homes is scheduled for its category of lot. So we see that the Haven lots go on, excuse me, the Haven homes go on Haven lots. The preserve homes go on preserve lots. And the retreat homes go on the retreat lots. 
And of course, your price will always be the cost of the lot, otherwise known as a building site, together with the base price of the home, together with the different options that you take to individualize the home for your budget and the level of luxury that you want. Now, all of these homes have easy care vinyl siding. They all have architectural shingles. They all have vinyl windows. They have R38 insulation, blown insulation in the ceilings and the radiant board roof deck, which are energy features, saving you money, saving energy. This is a natural gas community and all of the homes, standard and included, have tankless natural gas water heaters. Cajunanian has 18 models here at Four Seasons in those three categories and many of them have lofts, meaning second floor options that give you an extra bedroom, bathroom, and second floor living room, or you could call it a loft. So now we're in the new phase here at Four Seasons. And to the right, wooded lots, which are at least 57 feet wide. Those are dedicated for the preserve collection homes. And to the left, their water view lots. Those are a minimum of 62 feet wide. All of these lots are 120 feet deep. These are excellent lots, ladies and gentlemen. And there's no waiting for them. You don't have to go through a bidding process. You don't have to go onto a reserve list. These are, well, obviously these are contracted and are in the process of construction right now. But the ones just up ahead, those have been released, they've been priced, and this is where Kehavnanian is making a bid on the future. And so Kehavnanian, the developer, has specced out a dozen homes. And in the preserve collection, the adjusted price, including the incentives today, start at about $525,000. $525, and in the retreat collection, they start at about 551000 And that's everything. We're talking total price. We're talking home options, the building site, everything. That's all in, ladies and gentlemen. The water view lots available today view across to the clubhouse which will be open, by the way, in about a month from now. The clubhouse, we're gonna go visit it after we see the models. 12,000 square feet with a fitness studio, movement studio, billiards room, lounge, cafe, bar, card room, social hall, crafts area, full-time activities director. They have tennis courts, pickleball courts, bocce courts. As I say, we'll go, and of course, a beautiful outside swimming pool there with a pavilion. We'll go over and see it. And when I started the video, I told you that the builder developer had put into place incentives, which were substantial. And by that, I meant they're up to $60,000. And of course, those incentives which by the way are regardless of whether or not you pay cash or get a loan through their finance company, whether you do or do not use their attorney, up to $60,000 of incentives, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, those incentives are intended to bring someone into the purchase who otherwise might be thinking, well, gee, prices need to adjust or I think that uh, interest rates are too high because that $60,000 can be used to buy down your mortgage or to reduce the price of your home and options. And so for those who have been waiting for prices to adjust, let me tell you how it works. Prices of homes in general 
will not go down in the new construction category. What the builders do instead is they control the prices of their building sites and they control incentives. And as I said before, these prices and these incentives are subject to change without notice. And I think that it's clear that as the economy becomes more positive, when interest rates ultimately roll back, these incentives will go away. And one thing I've learned about over the years is that you shouldn't bet against the United States of America, you shouldn't bet against real estate, and you shouldn't bet against the resiliency and popularity of the Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina area. At the Four Seasons Model Home Park, you're looking at the Donegal. And we haven't talked much about the Haven Collection, and that's because they sold out in Phase 1, and they're putting in the infrastructure for the new phase of Haven Homes right now along the entrance drive that we traveled when we came in from the gate. These homes, there's four models. They range in size from 1,324 square feet up to 2,489 square feet. And the Donegal that you're looking at now is the second smallest, 1,689 square feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a den or flex room. We're gonna walk through it quick, quickly. Those of you who watch many of my videos know that I like to go through in a lot of detail. We're not going to do that today because this is a general overview video. I just want to give you an idea of the quality and the floor plan, and we can go into more details later on. But this house comes with a standard covered front porch and the entrance foyer zigs a bit. Your second bedroom is off to the front. This is your flex room or office immediately to the right. And all of these homes have open contemporary floor plans with beautiful kitchens, one level islands, and by the way, your granite countertops are standard. Your gas, it is a gas community, but your gas range is an option. The refrigerators are not included but they are available to you through the builder if you want. The Donegal has big windows. All of these homes have nine or 10 foot first floor ceilings, depending on the model. Primary bedroom with a trio of large windows. And they have luxury bathrooms in all of these homes. The dual basins are standard. When you build, you'll choose your tile. You'll choose your colors. The tile showers are standard. They all have large closets. And here I've just backed into one of them for both him and for her. Here is our second bedroom, and again, I'm really struck by the large windows that bring in lots of light. And then that second bathroom is going to have a standard as your fiberglass shower. In this case, they've jazzed it up with some beautiful options. And we can talk more about that when you call. While prices change, and I don't speak for the developer, I'm going to tell you that with the incentives, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about when these Haven homes are priced and released in the early part of 2023, we're expecting that the prices will be in the high fours and easily in the low fives with the incentives, but the high fours, a very sweet spot for this category of buyer. Here is the Palmero 2 one of the preserve collection homes of which there are eight models total three of these eight models offer loft options they all have two or three bedrooms two or three and a half bathrooms and you can see how those differences have to do with whether you do or don't have the loft 
and they range in size from 1,818 square feet up to 3,209 square feet, which of course would be with the law. The thing about the Palmera II, which makes it very popular, is the multi-generational suite. So, not only does it have three bedrooms and three bathrooms, but it also has a den and a dedicated living room for the mother-in-law or the other person who would occupy the front bedroom. It has a separate bedroom and living room, a separate suite in there. Seeing is believing. Let's go in and take a look. In the Palmera II, from that multi-generational suite that we were just talking about, it also has a separate outdoor entrance right there to the right of our front door. And from the foyer, the entire suite can be segregated with this door that we're passing through right now. And here is this front living room dedicated to the suite. And it's a combination kitchen, living area, and dining area with the efficiency kitchen as one of the standard features. And then between this living room and the bedroom is the bathroom with either the tub and shower or shower. That would be one of the options you would choose. This is our multi-generational suite in the Palmera II. And the foyer hallway takes us past our office den or flex room as you wish. The doors are always optional to these flex rooms. And into our open living room kitchen area. Again, all of these homes have these contemporary floor plans with the islands. You'll choose the cabinets, the colors, the backsplash, whether to go gas or electric in your kitchen, whether you'll go with a standard granite or if you go with the optional quartz, which they have in these models, showing off of course. We don't sell too many fireplaces, by the way, in this semi-tropical climate that we live in here in Bluffton, South Carolina, but some people like them. And here in the Palmera II, your primary bedroom is off to the back. There's a very large walk-in closet here. And the bedroom itself is beautiful with the private bathroom. And there's options here too, folks, of course. But they come standard with tile floors, cultured marble or Venetian. Uh, marble, as it's sometimes called. This particular model is fitted out with the frameless shower and the garden tub. And just off of the foyer hallway, good separation of space. Our garage is to the left. The laundry is straight ahead. And again, all of these houses, the washer and dryer is available through the builder, but it's not standard or included. Slop sinks like that are generally options. Our third bedroom is here. And we have then a third bathroom. So this home has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and then a separate den or flex room and the multi-generational suite right there to the side of the front door. And of course all of these homes have the two-car garages. There are a couple of them that have three-car garages. Your tankless water heater are mounted in the garages. And here is another, a very popular one, of the preserved collection homes, the Ibiza. And here in the model home park, they have an Ibiza loft to give us an idea of what that would look like. Both the Ibiza and the Ibiza loft have this grand central living area 
with the extra table here to the left that if you have a piano or some other use for that space and don't need a second formal dining area, so be it. But you have a grand central living room open to the kitchen with a large island and the eat-in kitchen here at the back, which would be, I think, a big enough formal room for many buyers with a quartet of windows bringing in lots of light, allowing you to enjoy your beautiful lake or wooded view. In the Ibiza and the Ibiza loft, and really all of these homes, you have your primary bedroom at the back. This one again, like the others, large windows. I believe that the recessed ceiling is an option. In here we see crown molding and the cottage trim package, both options. And the bathroom is a beauty, like all of them here at the Four Seasons. Your double basin is standard. This one has the quartz. Standard is your cultured marble. Tile floor is standard. The tiled shower is standard, but the frameless enclosure is your option. In the Ibiza, the flex room is immediately off of the central living area. The doors, of course, are optional. And your second bedroom at the front of the house, which is pretty much standard, with the second bathroom immediately next to the front bedroom. And it doubles, of course, as your guest bathroom. Well, this is the only home in the model home park, the Ibiza loft with the loft, so we should go and see it. Well, by any name, it would be a large living space. Call it a loft, call it a second floor living room. It's a versatile space that combines with your third bedroom, which is good sized. And the loft adds the third bathroom. And you always have the choice of going with your standard fiberglass tub shower or a tiled shower or tub surround. The Ibiza loft offers an option with a finished storage area over the garage with access from the stairway to the loft. And here we are now at the Porto model, the representative model of the retreat collection here in the model home park at Four Seasons. The Porto has 2,492 square feet, two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and you can see it has a two and a half car garage, perfect for a golf cart or possibly some other use. The Porto has an interesting floor plan, which is flexible. Case in point, this space here to the left, which they have staged as an office, well, it can be enclosed with doors to be more of a private office. This space to the right, which is a formal dining room, can also be enclosed as a bedroom with a bathroom off to this side. Our second bath and second bedroom is currently at the front like the other homes that we've seen. The Porto, however, has a big, beautiful living room and a big, beautiful kitchen. That's your pantry in the corner there to the right. Beautiful island with the quartz top replacing the standard and included granite your dining area here at the back, which of course is the trend, ladies and gentlemen. Most people just want to have one dining area, and that's why converting that other dining area to a living space other than dining really does make sense. This home has the integral covered porch, which is standard and included, 
it can be extended. And this home has some beautiful options in it worth mentioning. The farm sink, the semi-professional rub bronze faucet, your gas range top, moving the oven over to the side in a double oven configuration, as well as moving the microwave. These are all trends that we see from other builders as well. Our primary bedroom off to the back there. And the primary bedroom is accessed from a privacy jog with a trio of large windows. Custom paneling on this wall. I don't know that they even offer that, but they sure do a good job decorating. Beautiful bathroom, Carrera style marble floors, beautiful cabinets, cultured marble top, beautiful walk-in shower, sometimes called a Roman shower, sometimes called a super shower. What a beauty. Well, these are all options for you to consider and to individualize the home to your personal taste and budget. The primary closet is off to the back of the bathroom and it's between the bedroom bathroom and the laundry. Again, no washer and dryer because that's not standard and included. It's worth saying that all of these homes are in floodplain X, which is optional flood insurance. All of these elevations of these first floors are all at least 20 feet above sea level. And the HOA, which is Homeowners Association Fee, or POA, Property Owners Association Fee, they're used interchangeably, is just $200 a month. And that $200 includes yard care, Unless you fence your backyard, ladies and gentlemen, which you are allowed to do, but when you do fence your backyard, then the association will not take care of that enclosed area by the fence. But the $200 a month does include yard care. Everything is done with the Bermuda grass, and it is warranted for one year. And this is the clubhouse called the Palmetto Club. It's a construction site. It's under construction today, but we're going to step inside and take a quick look. The central hallway has a vaulted ceiling with beautiful beams. And this is the social hall. I'm sure that this will be the location for many community events. That sure is a nice touch. And it looks like this is going to be the billiards room. Kind of has the feel of a sports lounge with those big screen TVs. And clearly on this end of the clubhouse is their big fitness center with all the equipment just arriving. And over here there's kind of like an exercise studio. And here is the poolside pavilion. and a large community swimming pool. And just beyond and to the right, they have what they call an activities lawn or an events lawn. Well, there's a lot to talk about and we'll come back. We'll come back and take another look. Several things it's worth dwelling on. First off, Typically, when an amenity like this clubhouse is finished, then sales increase, prices go up. Something to keep in mind. The second thing is that while I showed you the lots that are available for you to build on, is that all told today, in addition to the 12 homes that Kay Havnanian has specced out, is that they have only about 10 lots available in the retreat collection and only about 10 lots available in the preserve collection. 
And when those are sold, they won't be opening up another phase until sometime mid to late 2023. So while they're offering the best incentives that any of us have ever seen in the business, is that they also have a limited supply. Now as far as buyers who are looking for the lower prices that will start in the 400s, that's our Haven collection. And as I said before, there's about 50 of those lots that are in the latest phase being developed there that will be released in the first part of 2023. And once again, that is a limited supply until some later time. So thank you for coming on this tour with me today. I've enjoyed showing you this community and a little bit more outside the gates. And I certainly would like to hear from you about your plans, what you have in mind for 2023 and even beyond. Now the longest time that anyone has taken from start to finish to buy a house from me has been 20 years. But I would please ask that you not try to break that record. Sometimes people buy right away. Sometimes people take a little bit longer. It's a big decision. There's a lot that goes into it financially, emotionally, psychologically. But I'd like to work with you as your agent. I'm sure we can have success together. So here's how you can find me. Again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. I'm the owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. My cell number, 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. And my website is gogated.com. So thank you again. And if you liked the video, and I hope you did, well, there's more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. I look forward to meeting with you and working with you here as your agent, your buyer's agent in the Bluffton, Hilton Head area. Thank you again.